Did major college football return to its field tonight in Starkville, Mississippi, where, as you would imagine, tight security surrounded the top 20 battle between South Carolina and Mississippi State. A no-fly zone, of course, above Scott Field, and purses were the only bags allowed in. Fans were not even allowed to tote their famed cowbells into the game, for which South Carolina arrived only this morning. Mechanical problems prevented USC from leaving last night, no doubt adding extra jitters for today's flight. And the unfurling of the American flag before the national anthem. Many displays of patriotism in the first major college football game in about 10 days. In the game. Mississippi State up 7-0, third and four. Wayne Madkin and Dante Walker introduced by Robert Eccles. Mm. And there's a fumble. And the Gamecocks recover. The ensuing possession, third and two. And the 35, short yardage situation as you can so frequently happens. Busted through, only get the first down and then the touchdown. That's Andrew Pinnock, 35 yards. On the extra point, John Stamper comes on the field late. Game caught to assess the penalty, and Lou Holtz is displeased. He's going to find the guy who is sort of spacing out. The extra point would be good. We're tied at seven. South Carolina led 16-7. Last minute of the game, Madkin or Harold Lindsay touchdown. Extra points good, 16-14. So this onside kickoff, last chance for Mississippi State. But Carolina's Brian Scott recovers, and the Gamecocks win on the road. 16 to 14, improving to three and seven all time against Mississippi State, including two straight wins. Daniel Weaver kicked three field goals as Pinnock ran for 100 yards on 13 rushes in the touchdown. Gamecocks hand Mississippi State only its second loss in the last 19 home games. And after the game, Jimmy Dykes met up with Coach Holtz. Coach, you knew coming in, tough circumstances. First of all, to play this ball game, tough place to play. You got it done. What was the difference? Well, we knew it would be a tough place to play. It was tough, but we didn't arrive here by airplane till noon today. We waited 17 hours, and I thought I was going to have to take the whip to them after the first three minutes of the game. But our guys hang in there. Mississippi State has a fine team. Uh, that could have gone either way. We're grateful to win. You said to be a serious threat to win the SEC East, you had to win this football game. Your defense led you to it. Our, our defense led to it, but our offense... Did not have a turnover for the first time since I've been there. Our kicking game was excellent. We played field position. We gave up a lot of yards, but we played team. We're not interested in statistics. It's in offense, defense. This is about teamwork. And one thing we talked to our team, what made this country was teamwork. And we wanted to show the country that no matter how bad things are, if you work together, we'll make it. And that was evident today. I'm proud of our team. I'm proud of our coaches. Now I've got to ask you something. You take a playbook from your old days at Notre Dame, put Corey Jenkins in the ball game in the third quarter, and he comes up big for you. Well, we felt that that was one of the things we were going to do. It was a question of when, and he got some good block, and that was a key drive. We got up by two scores, and that was critical. All right, Coach, good luck. Good to see you. Thank you. Back upstairs, guys.